Yeah, I'm just here, man. Look, I'm just here trying to figure out which uh one of these street fighter shirts to pull the trigger on. And then, you know, I'm going to go catch a shower. I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to be there in like 45 minutes, man. For real. For real, just chill, man. Just chill. All right, look. All right. All right I'm going to pull the trigger on this bison shirt. And, and I'm going to be there. All right, cool. Peace. <laughs> What's up everybody, what's good? My name is EK and welcome back to What's Good English. Now, if this is your first time here on this channel, I cover a more colloquial form of English. We delve deeply into slang and weird idioms and other curiosities of the language and we give you the meanings of those things in context so that you can actually understand them and put them into use in your normal life. So if you wanna hear how English is really spoken, you're in the right place. On today's episode, we're gonna be covering gun references. I'm an American, I live in America. What I'm sure shocks no one from another country is that our casual speech is riddled with gun references. It's something that pretty much everyone from every other country associates with America and that is the prevalence of guns. And the fact is there are far too many gun references to put into one episode. It would be like over an hour long and I would still probably miss a few things. So we are going to try to focus in on just five, just five different references references in this episode and this will be a little bit of a mini series we'll come back and pick it up where we left off in future episodes Ah uh -uh, man nah i can't be going to cheesecake factory with the wife and kids no more man nah that menu like 50 something pages long so it'll be taking them forever to pull the trigger on something then because of that we waiting all extra long for the food while the wife getting all extra hangry you know what i'm talking about man no for real though she was finna throw hands at one of the waitresses because she had to tell her like two times to like come back with some bread man nah man i don't need no incidents. All right, come on, y'all. We gotta get going. Shotgun. Oh, it's your shotgun. All right, friend. Hang back for a minute. Look here, boy. Your mix-up game is weak. You be whiffing mad buttons. Your corner traps is whack, and you think you slick because you try to steal a turn on every block string. But you ain't. We be letting you win. Me and your mama, cause it's good for your self-esteem. But if you do not let that boy get shotgun, we gonna make sure that you lose every single family tournament. Me, your mama, and your sister when she get off a break. Now go tell that boy that he can sit up front. Now I have no idea why we refer to the front passenger seat of a car as shotgun, but you will hear it all the time. People calling shotgun, people saying they want to ride shotgun. You'll also hear people calling shoddy or saying that they're riding shoddy. Shoddy is just a shortened form of shotgun. Now, while we still happen to be on the subject of shotguns. Oh, what up, homie? What you doing? Oh, what up, though? No, nah, man, I'm just um, trying to see who, uh, who finna go to the movies with me and all. Oh, for real? Who you finna go out with? Oh, no, nah, man, I ain't even trying to like decide enough, man. I'm just do the shotgun approach, see what happened, you know what I mean? Hey, take a look. Ooh, you got like five girls on here, man. This could backfire hard, man. Man, that'll never be happening, man. It's gonna be cool. All right, good luck. Hey, cause somebody. Which one? We got names. Okay. Man, you was right. They all showed up, all five, man. I had to pay 200 something dollars to get up in there, man. No, dude, I'm cleaned out for the rest of the month, man, for the next two months. I ain't never doing this shotgun thing no more, man. Now, we actually do have another term that is pretty much the exact same thing as the shotgun approach, but it's kind of long and not a lot of people say it. And that term is throw everything at the wall and see what sticks. Basically, you're going to try everything and whatever seems to be working the best, you're going to go with it. I choose to use shotgun approach just because it's a lot quicker and everybody already understands, but to each his own. Empty your pockets, old man. Oh, my, 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 it would appear to me as if someone don't wear it, brought they said little old knives to a gun bar. Now, you will hear bring a knife to a gunfight a lot in action movies and things like that, but we do actually have a more practical use for that term in common speech whenever somebody is being one-upped. Will you come to homecoming with me? Oh my god, I can't believe it! 
Looks like you just brought a knife to a gunfight. Oh my god, they're like my favorite. Yes, you did. Like everything. How did you know? Yes, you did. So the last term that we're going to cover on the show is to gun for something. Now, I know on its surface, it sounds like you're going to be an assassin or hitman or something like that. But we actually have a different term for that one. That is a hired gun, which now that I think about it is kind of self-explanatory. So, hey, hey, whoa, um, we, we ain't going to do the um, we ain't going to do the hired gun sketch no more. We don't need that. Yeah, we don't we don't need none of that. Nah, nah, that's. That's cool. Actually, see if you can um cancel that Amazon order for like all the stuff, cause like we don't we don't need that no more neither. Cause, all right, yeah, I, all right, dude, you was looking forward to it, I know, man. But like, dude, we making like negative money on this show right now, anyway. So like, if we get the YouTube money, I'll let you order whatever, dude. You can have all the ninja stars, the throwing knives, little the blow darts, whatever you want to do, man. But like, you know, let let us you know get to the promised land first, and then. Don't be so disappointed, man. Sad ninjas, man. Anyway, what were we talking about? Right, to gun for something. Oh, someone's early. That does it for tonight. And oh, first one in, last one out. I like your style. Somebody's really gunning for that promotion, huh? You know it. Good luck to you. That's right, boy. Get loose. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Get loose. You've been training for this marathon all year, man. You finna kill it, boy. We gunning for you. We gonna be gunning for you. In the crowd all day, we gonna be the loudest cheering section in there on God. For real. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get this. All right. That is gonna do it for this episode. Now that I have armed you all with all of these references, I just want to let you know I'm not putting you under the gun to use any of these. But if you do want to sound more native, go ahead and pull the trigger. Anyways, if you did enjoy the episode, please give me a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought, but most importantly, share. You thought I was going to say subscribe, but I said share, and now I've said subscribe twice. <laughs> Anyways, another thing I do want to say here on a serious note, um, this was the episode that was the furthest along for me to film, and last week we literally had a mass shooting every single day of the week. And quite frankly, in this country, without any serious cultural changes, there's never going to be an optimal time to upload an episode like this. I just want to say that I'm not trying to make fun of any sort of horrible situation that has happened or to capitalize on it. My intention with this channel is just that we all come here and have a good time, maybe a couple of laughs, and hopefully learn something in the process. Anyways, that's it for the serious note. Thank you so very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Have a wonderful day, week, night, whatever. Ciao. Oh, my, 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 my. Why not? It appears to me that someone don't wait and broke themselves a little no nah to a gun. <laughs> <Can't get this. laughs> Good job. Thank you.